A blowout win over a local rival or a classless move that should be investigated. Yeah, well, the debate is raging after Inglewood High's 106-point shellacking of Morningside High. Fox 11's Haley Winslow live at Morningside High in Inglewood with the latest on this sportsmanship scandal. Haley. Yes, Inglewood scored so many points, they couldn't even fit them all on the board. You know, some say this is just part of playing football and a life lesson for the kids. The others say the opposite, that it's disrespectful, poor sportsmanship, and the district has launched a full investigation. A complete shutout that sparked a lot of controversy. Inglewood High's football team crushes Morningside 106-0 Friday night. I at least thought we were going to score one, but that wasn't the case, but... Hopefully next year our program will be a little better than it is now. I mean, at least they tried their best throughout the whole game. They did what they could do. The Sentinels lead 59 to zip at the end of the first quarter, 86 to zero at the half, even going for a two-point conversion at the end of the game. The LA Times says the Morningside coach calls it classless and says a running clock didn't even start until late in the second quarter. Inglewood is stacked with Division I commits, including UCLA-bound QB Justin Martin, who threw 13 touchdown passes, the most by a high schooler in 100 years. The Inglewood coach, fired at his last job for using ineligible players, kept Martin in for the entire blowout. They went up against Morningside, an already depleted and inexperienced team, and with no offseason. The Monarchs hadn't even met their new coach until a week before the season started. Inglewood, now in the playoffs, is up against St. Bonaventure next. We spoke to their head football coach and athletic uh, believe, director about Inglewood's sportsmanship. I believe, we want to be successful as, as football coaches, but this is also high school football, and, and maybe the most important thing is, is teachable moments. And I talk about all the time about how Football is great because it, it emulates life and, and teaches you lessons. The governing body for SoCal's high school athletics condemns Inglewood and says it expects coaches to adhere to the six pillars of character. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. The Southern section also says it expects Inglewood administration to put a plan in place so this doesn't happen again. We've been in a couple of games like that over the years where it was, you know, a, a high 50s or low 60s game. and. And the referees talk to us and we just, we run the clock. Uh, we, we've had a couple of down years here that we were on the other side of that. And, and you just, you get it in and get it done. And nobody wants to, you know, face a, an outcome like that. You just try to run the clock and get the kids on the bus and, and get them home. And, and on either side of the score, it's a teachable, teachable moment. Yeah, and as a teachable moment, the Morningside coach says he plans to print the score really big and hang it in the weight room for his boys as a positive reminder. Now, Inglewood takes on St. Bonaventure Friday at 7 p.m. I'm sure a lot of people will be tuned into that game. Reporting live, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News.